YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, Concise the Barber. And yes, we are back with another concise review. I know there's already been reviews on this certain clipper. However, I did want to give you my opinion on how I observed it. So for this concise review, we're going to be talking about the FX3 trimmer. Let's get into the unboxing. All right, so as you guys see that this trimmer is really nice, really sleek. And the first thing I do wanna talk about is the price. And the price for this trimmer right now, $150, $149.99. And where I usually shop is at barbersalon.com. They have some good deals almost like every month. So if you have not tried them out yet, try them out, you can get these trimmers. For the price at 150, I do feel like that's not a bad price for these. Um, they're definitely a high, a high quality type of uh, trimmer um, for most barbers. And um, we will be talking about, you know, the, the performance of as them as well. But before we get to that, let's talk about the power and the battery life. With these trimmers, it's truly amazing. They do have 7,200 RPMs for this trimmer, which to me is crazy because I, I would have never thought that much power and, you know, that much torque will need to be in a trimmer. However, that should let you know how strong and powerful these, these trimmers are. I'm kind of glad that they did that because I'm kind of curious of how they they compare to certain certain trimmers. I mean, certain clippers with the same power. The power that these have, the Rebels also have, they have 7,200 RPMs. So just think about that, that these trimmers have the same amount of power as the Rebels. That's kind of crazy. And, and also, yes, this is a brushless motor as well. Uh, it seems like Babyliss is going to continue to stay with the brushless uh, uh, motors, which, you know, when these did die out on me, um, it was strong all the way until it died out. Um, but the battery life is three hours of runtime, which is, which is all you need, honestly, when it comes to a trimmer. Three hours is definitely enough for you to have you know, this trimmer in the shop all day and every day. Um, and this keeping it on the charger, I mean, you, I, I don't see you this dying out. Although for me, it did die out because I was doing a review and I just want to see how long they, they can, you know, last. But um, three hours of runtime, you're not going to use them for a whole hour. You know, every hour you're probably using them for 10 to 15 minutes. So just think of that. This is going to last you the whole shop, probably just on one charge. Also with the battery life, as you see, you know, when you turn them on, they have that LED, they have a four LED indicator. If it's fully charged, uh, you know, and then when it's powering, like dying down, um, the sound of them don't sound bad at all. I do like how they do sound. Definitely like how they sound. The second thing I want to talk about is packaging. 
if you have not seen my, uh, the FX3 Clipper re review that I did, it's basically the same type of packaging. There's nothing really, you know, spectacular about the packaging. It's just the trimmer with, you know, the, the, the sleek body and with the clear, with the clear casing and that, you know, the trimmer, the clear casing and, you know, the stuff under it. That's basically the packaging, you know, they didn't really focus too much on the packaging when it came to these, like they did to the original Gold FX. All right, so like I said before, we, we are going to talk about the performance of these and I'm going to show you a few clips on how well they perform. And like you guys seen in the other, the other reviews, these are a tap and go. These are some hitters straight out of the box. You definitely have to adjust these and to push them back just a little bit to whatever your liking is, what you feel is best for your clients. That's how you should adjust them. And I definitely did. There was no way I can keep them. Um, just how they were. There was actually one clip I'm gonna show you where one of my clients just got it straight out of the box and I had to adjust them. Like, you know, one side was okay, but he said, yeah, they were a little too sharp around in this area, in this area. So I definitely did adjust them like midway. So, um, I mean, they hit, that's a great thing. But it was like, I guess we were saying, yo, we need some hitters straight out of the box so much. They was like, all right, bet. And then we was like, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's push it back. <laughs> You know what I mean? So they, they definitely did above and beyond when it came when it came to the, you know, to the trimmers to hit. Also, another thing about when it comes to the performance of these, I did realize that these, uh, they do have something that's different from all the other Babyliss trimmers. And I figured it out. The blade is not that much different. The steel blade, I mean, it could be deep tooth. It's like a mid deep tooth, mid, you know, fine tooth in a sense. But the cutting blade, however, the cutting blade is the big difference out of all of these trimmers. As you guys can see, when you look at them and compare them with the other trimmers, this cutting blade is real sharp and it is a deep tooth. So this is what makes this trimmer really, really stand out and what makes it hit how it does hit. So when you, when you, when you do get these, you'll notice how the cutting blade is just a little bit more different than the other Babyliss trimmers. So let's talk about design. As you guys see, it's really, you know, thin. Uh, it's a real, you know, thin and long. It's just like the slim lines in a sense, you know, I compared them, you know, side by side, how they look, but I believe these are just a little bit longer. And um, I actually like how these feel. I mean, if you definitely like the slim lines and you had the slim lines, um, you de you would definitely like how these feel in your hand. Even with this, with the curve right here that, that it gives you to line up, this uh this the shape of it definitely like that as well helps out with the you know not putting so much uh not that much wrist work is just more displacing the finger and lining up definitely like that part about this trimmer i mean it, it is 360 exposed blade but it's not exposed just like the other uh babyless trimmers so there's another section in here that i want to give before i give you my concise review and it is called the observation section and just uh just want to talk because like i said there's been some reviews some people don't some people don't like the sound but i don't actually mind how these sound and it sounds like these are doing some work like <laughs> they really like, they, they really feel powerful and i do like the sound of them but they're not too loud either so i definitely don't mind that sound at all and one thing I have noticed that any brand hasn't really come out with yet, this same blade, but just small, like the slimline blade. I really feel like the, the, the small blade is still important. It's still valuable. We still use that blade, especially all up in here and up in here. I honestly, even for designs, sometimes, you know, small blade is really, really good. And honestly, wall blades are like in the middle, but a slim like this this trimmer this version of the trimmer it if babyliss came out with an fx3 uh small blade man that would be crazy and i guarantee you that people will will get it but let me know what y'all think in the comment section but i honestly think that a small blade is still valuable in today's uh industry so that's my little bit of observation of what i would do uh, I will upgrade, not even upgrade, but I will add on to when it comes to these uh, FX3 trimmers. So let's get down to the to the nitty gritty, the concise review. 
does it have room for my station? And I can honestly say, yes, it does have room for my station. It is definitely one of my hitters, if not the hitter right now. Um, I still use my original, the, the original Gold FX trimmer, which to me is still the best overall trimmer. But when it comes to hit, like hitting the front line, the, the, the vertical bars in the corner, in your corner, I would say that these, these, these got it. These definitely got it. Me, I don't honestly need two of these, but I know some people probably will get two of them. They are, they are really like that. If you want to adjust them, pull them back a little bit more for kids. That's up to you since they do have that, that much power. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but for me, I do like these FX3s. I probably just keep one of them, one of them and just use my original uh, trimmers. Until the low pro trimmers, we'll see what happens from there. But that's my concise review on the FX3 trimmers. Let me know what y'all think about them. Thank y'all for continuing to watch my page. I appreciate y'all. We're so close to 2K and that giveaway is coming out real, real soon. So thank y'all for tuning in. God bless. Take it easy.